not orientation. What is it? Simply put, it's whether the webbing in your net and TED is this way, or this way. To the untrained eye, it's difficult to tell the difference, but if you look at the two pieces of webbing together, you can see that these knots, the knots in this, these two pieces of webbing are oriented opposite each other. How does it affect shrimp retention in your hard TED? That's what we hope to show you with this video. Depending on how knots are oriented in a panel of webbing creates either a hydrodynamic up or down or in or out lift. A panel of webbing pulled horizontally through the water will either push up or down depending on knot orientation. A tube of webbing, such as a bag or cot end, will either push in or out again depending on the knot orientation. Australian gear researchers first noted the effects on trawls about 12 years ago. No one gave much thought to TED flaps until Kendall Falana with National Marine Fisheries Service Harvesting Systems and Engineering Branch in Pascagoula, Mississippi proposed they look at it while diving off Panama City in the summer of 1999. The results were quite dramatic. This is an inshore sized super shooter style TED with its flap modified for leatherbacks being pulled through the water at two and a half knots. The knots are oriented to have a negative angle of attack pushing down or out from the TED grid. As you can see, it maintains a 10 to 12 inch opening. This is the same TED with its flap turned over so the knots are oriented with a positive angle of attack, pushing up or in towards the TED grid. How do you determine the correct knot orientation? Well, each knot has four legs. Two come out under one loop of the knot. The other two legs come out independently of each other. Each row of knots alternates. Double leg loop is on the top front side of this row of knots. Double leg loop is on the back bottom side of the next row of knots. This arrow represents water flow direction. To determine which way the webbing will pull, you look for the row of knots with the double leg loop in front. In this picture, the double leg loop is on the outside of the webbing, and the webbing will pull in that direction, out away from the screen. Again, the arrow indicates water flow direction. We look for the row of knots with the double leg loop in front of the knot. 
which is this row of knots, and with that double leg loop on the back side of the knot, this webbing will push towards the screen or away from me. To double check the results of the Panama City testing and check the effects of knot orientation on smaller flaps, NIMPS filmed the following configurations of TEDs off Mississippi. This is a mid-sized super shooter style TED with the leatherback modification being pulled through the water at two and a half knots. The knots are oriented to have a negative angle of attack pushing down or out from the TED grid. This is the same TED with the leatherback modification with its flap turned over so the knots are oriented with a positive angle of attack, pushing up or in towards the TED grid. This is a mid-sized super shooter style TED with extended flap with a 35 inch by 18 inch opening. This opening is larger than the current minimum TED openings, but smaller than the leatherback modification, being pulled through the water at two and a half knots. The knots are oriented to have a negative angle of attack, pushing down or out from the TED grid. As you can see, it maintains a three to five inch opening. Note the fish e easily exiting between the grid and the flap. This is the same TED with its flap turned over, so the knots are oriented with a positive angle of attack, pushing up or in towards the TED grid. As you can see, there are no fish exiting the TED. Nymphs Harvesting also noted that knot orientation had a dramatic effect on the shape of the bag or cod end. On a 120 mesh cod end, when knots were oriented with a negative or inward angle of attack, the opening was only 10 inches. But when oriented with a positive or outward angle of attack, it opened to 13 inches diameter. In summary, all knots have four legs, two with the loop, two come out independent, and they alternate every row. Find the front of the knot by water flow. Look for the loop in front of the knot. If the loop's up, webbing will push up. If the loop's down, webbing will push down.